All right, so we get to use two unaware Pokemon for this one. And we just so happen to have two unaware Pokemon that can cover each other's uh, type resistances. So fire and fairy will cover everything. Very good. All right. And uh, now with Clefable, the strategy is very simple. Since it doesn't clean us and it's a special attacker, uh, we're just going to go ahead and use Combine six times. If this was a physical attacker, then uh, maybe we'd, we'd use Dondozo, but it's a special one, so we use Clefable. In that way, Clefable is kind of like a special Dondozo, except it does much more damage because it has the option of running uh, stored power, plus it gets much better healing because it gets Drain, drain uh, draining Kiss. <coughs> uh, so, if anything, Dondozo strives to be a physical Clefable that fails. Clefable is just better. Dondozo has better stats to begin with, though. He's tankier than uh, Clefable is. Yeah, we don't care about those. Uh, with, with these strats, now there are many other Pokemon that you can win with this, but I try to give you strategies that are safe. And with this thing spamming Ancient Power at a bunch of Pokemon, depending on your allies, you could be dealing with um, a lot of those boosts. So, with these two builds, even if you have three Pokemon that bait Ancient Power, um, which is unlikely, you'll have no problem. Skeledurge baits um, Ancient Power. So, uh, the f in the other testing, Yan Mega would usually get to about plus three on all the stats. But again, you know, unaware is great like that. It doesn't. Skeletor gets to not care. You know, it's good. All right, that's six. I'm going to go ahead and get to full health. And uh, I'm not doing any debuffing. I'm just maintaining my plus six. And by maintaining, I don't have to do anything. It's, it doesn't like clean me or anything. So that was a crit. That's fine. That's what's so good about Draining Kiss. I can just continue to do damage, albeit a little less damage. Draining Kiss is just, uh, it's really good. And you get 75% of what you, uh, of the damage you do, I believe, rather than the 50% on other Draining Waves. And when we can get away with it, we'll go ahead and go for Moonblast. This strat doesn't... I don't know if Draining Kiss does quite enough to make this raid really safe to um, Turbo Spam. I mean, you'd probably get away with it. I mean, we are at plus six, so you could probably Turbo Spam this, but... I think better just to get off at least a few Moonblasts. And I'm not going to definitively recommend turbo spamming draining kiss. That's probably enough. Probably is not enough. I want when people want to take out six star raids. Uh, I want my strategies to work very well. And that wouldn't be all that safe. All right. All right. So that is the one cleanse. If I were Skeletorge, I would go ahead and use Snarl just one time. But, um, Clefable actually can't play that game, but it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, what am I thinking? It's unaware. Why would I use Snarl? That's quite the brain fart. Hmm. The beauty of uncut raids. <laughs> no way that would end up in the guide. <laughs> Maybe now it would. <laughs> I'm still pretty good on health. Once I get it to around, I don't know, 60%-ish, 50%, that's when I go for the draining kiss, but Clefable can take it. Doing big damage with the Moonblast at plus six. 
it's all right damage you know it's all right it's no power trip or stored power but it's just pretty good it's something it'd be funny to run minimize on this that'd be pretty funny still a good amount of uh space left on that timer All right, so now we get to use the Skeledurge. Now, you could just Torch Song and not do anything else. You could do that. Right? Um, and most of the time, you will just Torch Song the whole time. But Slack Off is there for... Because, uh, what do you call it? Torch Song is not going to be doing too much damage in the beginning. And we are going to be taking super effective damage from Ancient Power. So if that becomes too much, we can always just use uh, slack off as another healing option just early on since our torch songs aren't going to be going to be doing too much damage but once we get to plus six you you can just spam torch song uh honestly i haven't even decided whether i want to use sunny day i think once i get to plus six i'll use sunny day and then go turbo spam that's what i'll do We're doing all right so far. It'd be nice to get crit once or twice in this raid. Just to show we have that assurance. Yeah, and we're staying pretty close to full. And once we get to full health, we're, we're looking at a decent amount of healing. Yeah, over like 25% healing. Alright, so I can Terra. You know what? I'm just going to Sunny Day and then go straight into it. Now, if you were low on health right now, if you got crit or something, then you could slack off and then do this and then Terra and Sunny Day go into uh, Torch Song. Maybe Torch Song a couple times in between. Depends on your health. All right. There's the extra ancient power. I'm pretty sure I can just stick it on turbo. And I'm, I'm not even at plus six yet. Where am I? Yeah. But that sun's a nice little boost. So I'm going to be at full health now for the rest of the raid. And I'm not going to bother putting the sun back up. The raid will almost be over by then. I'll just let the turbo button do its thing. Being at plus six is plenty of damage. Now we're caught up with the timer, but we are about to pull away from it very, very quickly. <laughs> Two, three more uh, torch songs and boosted by sun. And that's it. This is a very. <laughs> this is very boring uh what do you call it uncut raid because i'm not doing anything really that turbo button's a beautiful thing you know those three two more yeah so you'd use this because clefable i think is probably a little safer than this though this is pretty safe uh, but against steel and poison, you just go ahead and use this and it'll do great. Obviously it'll do the same against poison as it's doing now to this fairy type. Oh dang, we have, uh, we have Belly Bolt. Okay. Belly Bolt, I think, uh, maybe put up a screen. Against special attackers, Belly Bolt is the best NPC ally. It probably did put up a screen at least once. Okay. So that's where this can get a little bit dicey. We got flinched, but it's okay. 
They didn't take much damage. Yeah, there's definitely a screen up. But twice that much damage wouldn't be a big deal, I don't think. Now, if we got flinched twice in a row, mm, that could be a problem. But for the most part, we bait uh, Ancient Power. Egg Bobo is, is random. <laughs> Plenty of room left. So it's about as fast as Clefable, but I'm pretty sure Clefable is just a little safer. But as you can see, very easy. Unaware is very good in this raid. So Hatterain's gonna take out the fire type that gives us a little bit of trouble just because it's resisted damage against both Skeledurge and uh, Clefable. Now, we're going to start with Mystical Fire, because Mystical Fire pro provides us protection against a critical hit, right? Because if it does get a boost, then its critical hit is not going to do plus one damage. That's why Mystical Fire is a little higher of a priority than Calm Mind, okay? Because our plus one... Our our buffs and special defense don't protect us from critical hits. And the mystical fire doesn't protect us from it, but if it gets a boost, we'll still be taking the same damage crystal, uh, mystical fire, uh, we'll still be taking the same damage on that critical hit. Rather than if we didn't do the mystical fire and it got a boost, it'd be a plus one. It'd be 50% more. That's why mystical fire goes turn one, and then we have to keep an eye on its special attack. So the chances that Yan Mega gets a boost is 10% on its ancient power. So keep in mind if we're against a fire type, we're getting half damage. Even with resisted damage, the draining moves are going to provide um, are going to be the best healing move usually. Now I'm gonna call mine one more time, then I'm gonna go to full and I'm gonna stay above 56% health uh no 54 sorry the number's 54 it's 54 because a critical hit bug buzz from a modest yan mega there's a critical hit from a modest man yaga yan mega does uh just under 54 percent so if we get close to 50 percent we need to drain and kiss just so we don't faint now you could probably faint sometime early in this raid and be fine but if it's avoidable then well, avoid it. So, I can, uh, I'm gonna actually check on its stats. It doesn't look like we have any, oh yeah, we have, uh, Drifloon does bait ancient power, so let's check on it. It's got minus two special attack. Did I hit it with two mystical fires? Does something hit it with a mystical fire? But yeah, first priority is plus six in Calm Mind. The closer you get to plus six, the, uh, the more important it is to stay above 54%. Because all that work will be gone if we faint. We don't want that. So now we're at plus six. I'm going to Draining Kiss. I'm going to Attack Cheer. I'm going to Tarasalize. I'm going to KO this thing. From, from here. Let's uh, Draining Kiss. I'm not going to Terrestrialize yet because I don't want Draining... I actually don't want Draining Kiss to do that much damage. Because I don't want the shield to come up and ruin my KO. If I don't get the KO, it's not a big deal. Go all out. I'm not going to bother checking its stats because we're about to knock it out. That's a critical hit. Quick attack. That's how you know you're doing it right. Okay, we still can. Okay. We did the attack cheer. This should KO. 
So once we get to plus six, yeah, it's hitting us with quick attack, which is very little damage. There we go. And that's how you deal with it. If you don't get the KO, it'll clean itself. But uh, and when it does, we want to use Mystical Fire and just keep it at minus one and continue doing what we were doing. Once you get to plus six, this is over as long as you stay above 54% HP. And I wouldn't recommend using this against a bug type, right? Because bug type's doing, you know, almost 80% on a crit. So we don't want to deal with that. Just let skeletons deal with the bug type. If this was helpful, smash that like button and subscribe. If it wasn't, then tell me why in the comments. Peace.